Hi all, welcome back to the channel and our kayaking adventures. After spending the morning fossil and shark tooth hunting, we drove from Venice Beach to Lido Key for some kayaking adventures. According to the internet, there was an island locally known as Sand Dollar Island, which was rumored to be one of the better places to find sand dollars. With our recent sand dollar streak, we thought we'd check it out. Join us on this adventure. We arrived at Ted Sperling Park at South Lido Beach about 3 p.m. We figured it would give us just a few hours to explore the area and maybe find the island before sunset. Based upon Google Maps, Sand Dollar Island should have been off the northern coast of Siesta Key and to the south of Lido Key. Before launching, we were told there were some mangrove tunnels in the opposite direction of our destination, but since we were already set on finding Sand Dollar Island, we stayed the course. It didn't look like it was going to be a very difficult trip. However, we did not anticipate the wind or the tide. Our plan was to cross Big Sarasota Pass and then paddle along the shoreline of Siesta Key, since that is the side that Sand Dollar Island is supposedly near. We were hoping that Sand Dollar Island would live up to its name and we might find a nice dash of sand dollars. It's important to note that collecting live sand dollars is illegal, so when gathering them, you must make sure to only take the skeletal remains of the dead ones. So if there was parking over there, that'd be a better place to launch from. Yeah, I couldn't tell on the map whether there's parking there or not. There's a launch there, and then there's a launch over here. Yeah, it looks like there is parking over there. Oh well, too late now. Today, finding those sand dollars at Venice Beach. We are now going to Sand Dollar Island where there's supposedly a high concentration of sand dollars that are found in the area. We launched at the park behind us, but anyway, as we're going towards the island, I noticed there's a little beach off to the left of us, and it does look like there's some side street parking. I couldn't tell that from Google Maps earlier. Maybe if you're going to Sand Dollar Island, you might be able to find a boat launch or a kayak launch closer to the island. Though it's only a half mile paddle. It's no big deal. And we can handle it. Oh, I wish I did have to bring my glasses because that sun is a little brutal today. I don't even see the island yet. Should be straight ahead. We've got the wind against us and we've got the current against us. It's not much of a wind, but you can certainly feel it while you're heading into it. So you definitely can see the bottom. So we're probably in about three, three and a half feet of water. But we've got a long ways to go. What if we get to Sand Dollar Island and we only find shark teeth? <laughs> oh, what happens if it disappears during high tide? about over here somewhere. What? Yeah. Where's the island? So I'm looking for it.
Should be right in front of us, right here. It's not there, right? This is it. What, under the water? I guess. Oh yeah, there's one right there. I don't know, I lost it already. This is Sand Dollar Island, though I don't see any land. There was a sand dollar underneath me, but I lost it as I'm kind of floating around. I have no choice. About to jump in the water if I want to find a sand dollar. Cold, 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 cold. So this island is only waist high underwater. No sand dollars in sight. Let's go to that beach. So let's try a little bit of kayak re-entry. Oh. Ah. And I'm back in. So on the plus side, it's going to be an easy paddle back. Well, let's just catch up to her. Maybe go to this beach here. See if we can at least get lucky there. Despite what I read on the internet, Sand Dollar Island either did not exist or only appeared under certain low tide conditions. The island was supposedly formed from the erosion of Lido Key. After our attempted visit, I read somewhere that they had done some dredging to build back the shores of Lido Key, and perhaps Sand Dollar Island was part of what they dredged. Can't believe the internet lied. We may not have found any treasures on Lido Key, but we had a good time and a fun adventure. Even though Sand Dollar Island was not there, it was still a fine time paddling Big Sarasota Pass. The water was amazing. If anyone watching this video has visited Sand Dollar Island or knows what happened to it, let me know in the comments. I certainly would be interested in hearing that story. Perhaps the island is only visible to those who know the proper chanty to sing. I hope you all enjoyed our adventure hunting for this elusive island. Maybe we'll visit again at low tide in hopes to find the island. If you like this video, help us out by clicking that like button. If you're new to this channel or have not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button so that YouTube knows you appreciate our content. Check out some of our past videos. Until the next time, hope to see you out on the water someday.